Welcome to the exciting launch of Apex X12 Privacy and Security with RoboLinux GNOME, KDE, XFCE, and LXDE 32 and 64 bit versions 7.9.1. We know you're sick of huge web companies stealing your privacy from you on the net. We also know that security for you on the net is absolutely critical. Only RoboLinux version 7.9.1 provides you with serious privacy and security apps. No other operating systems on the planet come even close. As you may know, we released full-scale X4 privacy and security on February 22, 2015. Then on March 12, 2015, we released Ultra X10 privacy and security. You can see those videos on our website. RoboLinux did not stop there. So get ready to be blown away even more. People, this is the highest level of privacy and security available today. Here's a hint. Think invisible on the net. At the end of this video, I will announce a Linux desktop groundbreaking game changer that involves each and every one of you directly. So please be sure not to miss that. Thank you. Okay, here's what we added to 7.9.1. I'm going to make this video as brief as possible. Number one, we added Invisible Internet Project, which is I2P. Number two, we added rootkit check. I'll show you that in a minute. We, number three, we added rcconf. Very important to help you speed up your operating system. And many more upgrades and enhancements. My name is John Martinson, and I'm the founder of RoboLinux. You can call me Robo. Everyone else does. Today, I'm going to show you very quickly what we added to our unprecedented 12 app strong privacy and security arsenal. All of these apps are just one click away built into all eight versions of RoboLinux 7.9.1 that you can run with ease right now. As you can see I am running RoboLinux 64 XFCE but everything you see in this video is also available in our GNOME, KDE, and LXDE 32 and 64 bit versions as well. So let's get started. First, I'm going to show you I2P, the Invisible Internet Project. So you go to your main menu in any of your RoboLinux operating systems and you just go to Installers and you simply click on I2P Installer. In seconds, you're going to have that app installed. Now, I've got mine installed already and I've got it running. This is a very special app, actually a custom software router that allows you to be 100% invisible while surfing or doing anything on the internet. Tor is really awesome, but I2P uses an invisible approach. The issue with Tor is some governments are sniffing the Tor exit server packets. Maybe that's not a big deal for some people. Um, it certainly isn't for me, but if you want to be completely invisible, the I2P is really what you're looking for. After you install it, you can use this I2P website tutorials to set it up and you can tell every stinking government spying operation to take a hike. Privacy is now yours forever. Rootkit check. This is one of those must-have apps so you can be 100% rest assured that no one has hacked into your Linux operating system. Simply go to the main menu, go to System, scroll on down to Rootkit Check. When you click it, it asks for your pseudo password.
Now, what it's going to do, it's telling you, it's checking everything, and it's going to create a report in your home directory. And when you look in there, what you want to find is not infected on every single check. RCConf, this little gem of an app that uses very little RAM, allows you to remove any unnecessary memory resident services from running when you boot up RoboLinux. The result is Linux will run even faster. A good example is, and I'm just going to go ahead and load it from system, a good example with RCConf, I'm not a big Avahi fan, okay, so I removed mine. But please be careful with this app though. If you don't know what each service does, please Google it before you remove it. Or send us an email through tech support and we'll tell you what it is and whether you should remove it or not. Otherwise, you may have some issues. This is not something to be very careless with. It's very easy to navigate around and I'm going to go ahead and just log out. And now the moment you have all been waiting for. My name is John Martinson and I'm the founder of RoboLinux. You can call me Robo, everyone else does. Isn't it about time that a Linux distro company takes a stand and becomes an industry leader that actually transforms Linux on the desktop so that it can become the best it can be? Announcing the RoboLinux Open Source Software Foundation. People, this foundation is what all of you have been begging RoboLinux to create. It was founded May 1st, 2015, strictly for your benefit only. Nine out of 10 Linux users want better, more polished Linux programs. Why? Well, most Linux users still have to run Windows sometimes because they need to use Windows software applications, which are better than what is available in Linux today. Sorry, but that's the truth. Yeah, it's sad. RoboLinux listened to thousands of users and has taken action. Now, when a user downloads and installs a RoboLinux operating system, they can quickly become a RoboLinux Open Source Software Foundation Premium member. So, they have the power, as a team player, to suggest improvements to the software programs they use in RoboLinux. RoboLinux Open Source Software Foundation members can request specific software enhancements, bug fixes, and new applications they want via a special email address which is provided to them when they sign up. How about this? How about we approach those Windows app developers and we get them also to produce Linux apps? We'll have the money to do that. Do I need your money? No, because I'm a sysadmin. I do penetration testing, cybersecurity, I build servers all over the world, I work for dozens of companies, that income supports me adequately. Yes, I'm blessed. RoboLinux is supported by tech support fees from Stealth VM and C Drive to VM, so it is a self sustainable nonprofit organization. It doesn't need this money. Why did I write eight Linux operating systems then? Two reasons. Number one, I wanted the fastest Linux OS I could have, so I wrote it myself. Number two, I made my OS available or all my OS is available to the public for free so they could benefit as well. Let's get back to the topic at hand. Basically, if you keep using Windows apps, you will have to continue paying thousands of dollars out of your pocket to Microsoft for their operating systems and also to the ISVs, those are the independent Windows software developers who charge a lot of money for their, each program that you're forced to buy because you're hooked on them and there's no Linux apps as good as theirs. You see, you may not know this, but there are now well over 200 million Linux desktop users in the world. The fact is we are a very large and formidable army that dwarfs and outnumbers Microsoft's greed machine in Redmond, Washington. Unfortunately, if we do not band together as one, then we are all stuck on stupid, being forced forever to pay thousands of dollars for Windows, Windows apps that are based on Windows, of course, 
and that we're hooked on because we can't find anything in Linux to replace them. Sort of sounds like a heroin addiction problem, doesn't it? It's your choice. You can pay a tiny membership fee to the RoboLinux Open Source Software Foundation, which goes directly to Linux software developers and benefits you greatly, or you can just keep paying thousands of dollars to Microsoft and their ISVs or independent software developers for, you know, as many years as you want to. People, listen to me now or hear me later. Do not be complacent. Do not procrastinate. The future of Linux on the desktop is collectively in your hands. It's time for you to take action right now. Be absolutely certain to sign up as an ROSSF premium member and you, let me say that again, you will reap the rewards and benefits of having vastly more improved and polished Linux desktop software and applications for free. You can read all about the Rob Linux Open Source Software Foundation where there is a link on our About web page to the page you see right here. Please note that RoboLinux provides audited monthly reports so you can be certain that this is a 100% legitimate foundation that will benefit you directly. Lastly, and this is very important, I want to take this opportunity to publicly challenge Linux Mint, Ubuntu, Red Hat, Debian, Fedora, and all the other 798 Linux desktop distros to copy what RoboLinux is doing. I ask them, take action now. Start your own open source software foundation. Let's make Linux desktop software all it can be. Thank you for your time watching this RoboLinux video. I hope you have a great day and may God bless you and your family.